Hello everyone, uh, welcome to District Endocrine Blog. My name is Dr. Rahman. I am an ABIM board certified endocrinologist. Uh, today I'm going to talk about diabetes and coronavirus COVID-19, um, especially since I've been asked by a lot of patients. Um, World Health Organization has declared uh, coronavirus COVID-19 as a pandemic. As of now, March 13, 2020, 4 p.m. Central State Time, uh, 145,000 patients have been confirmed with 5,800 people dead by this virus. There are 1,875 cases in the U.S. with 14 confirmed deaths. It's a matter of more in the matter of time, more people will get infected from this virus. Uh, experts belay, experts say that uh, it's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. And there is a huge risk of community-wide spread of uh, COVID-19. Uh, information from China where the virus was originally originated show that the certain patients or certain group of people are at a higher risk of having severe illness uh, which can be fatal. Uh, this includes elderly uh, people with chronic diseases, um, those people who have heart disease or diabetes or those people with lung diseases. Elderly patients who have one or more chronic uh, diseases fall into a very high-risk category. Uh, it is estimated that there are 60 million Americans with at least one chronic disease and 40% 40 uh, 40 have more than one. Um, Chinese data of 1590 patients show that the group of individuals who have increased odd of severe disease and death while just 1.3 percent of the patients who were in their 50s uh, the death rate increases with each additional decade of their life for example increasing to 3.5 percent of patients in their 60s and 8 percent if the patients were in 70s uh, patients who had one chronic disease uh, had a 1.8 times more risk of poor outcome as compared to two chronic diseases with the outcome uh, was worse uh, in 2.5 uh, times. Uh, so having more co comorbid condition makes this outcome really worse. If you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, is it, it is important to exercise very strict control over your blood sugar levels as it will help boost your immunity. Especially since blood sugars, if they are high, it will increase your risk of catching infections including viruses and presumably this one as well. Um, this is the time when you should get back to your doctor's advice on your lifestyle, uh, dietary choices and also controlling your carb intake. Um, take your medications or insulin regularly to have control of your blood sugar better. Uh, if your sugars are running very high, consider calling your physician for a possible medication titration or helping them with uh, changing in your insulin regimen to get your sugar under better control. Uh, you should definitely avoid unnecessary trips to the hospitals and the clinics because there is more risk of having an exposure to high-risk patients or other sick patients. Uh, people who have type 1 diabetes uh, are more likely to have a severe disease outcome if they have an infection. Uh, for example, viral illnesses are known to push these patients to the brink of severe complication called life threatening, which is life threatening like uh, ketoacidosis, uh, which can require hospitalization or even ICU admissions. Prevention is definitely better than cure. CDC recommends uh, patients with chronic diseases to take uh, more precautions to keep space from others, particularly um, those who seem sick, uh, limit contact in public if you go out, uh, avoid crowds, um, don't do any unnecessary travel, particularly in a cruise ship and air travel, uh, avoid airports. Um, it is possible that COVID-19 can uh, have an outbreak in your community, so it's better you stay away as much as possible, uh, stay at home so that you're not getting exposed to COVID-19. Uh, there is no cure or treatment at this point, only supportive care. Uh, we strongly recommend that you should be, take all the precautions uh, and be careful um, and stay home and be safe. Um, well, thank you so much for watching this uh, vlog. Uh, I hope you stay safe and uh, your families are also uh, safe. Um, please uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Uh, we'll have more topics to talk about regarding endocrine related diseases. Thank you so much. Bye bye.